My shakers last time that I made seem to be very popular, so this time I'm going to make some more kind of Easter theme. The first one's a bird, and I will also be doing a bunny inside of an Easter egg. I'm going to show both methods. This will be the Glowforge method, and then the bunny one is going to be the Cricut Design Space method. Both designs can be interchangeable, so I'll show you how to do one and you can choose whichever method to do either design with. I also am going to use this clay flowers that I found at Hobby Lobby to fill this particular piece. So in my design file, I have the base, which I cut out of some plywood, and then we have the filler, the spacer, and then you'll put the filler inside and then you can either do an acetate or acrylic is what I decided to cut this clear piece with so you can see all the pieces inside. And then I also have an extra piece, which is his wing that's going to go right on top. First paint everything and then I'll glue everything down. I think I'm going to do this lighter yellow for his main body, the back, and then the darker yellow for his accent, and then a purple for his wing. In my design, there's also some extra layers that if you're using the Cricut, you might want to use, and it all um, kind of, there's another outline to cover up the foam or whatever you use as your spacer, just to make it more decorative. So you'd put your piece together like that, and then that decorative piece there. Um, and there's even an extra piece if you have a uh, doll back and you want to make a fun back, there's an extra piece in there for that, as well as just a plain bird, which I'm going to use in another project. I'm going to make a stencil and show you how to do that, so keep an eye out on that piece. So lots of goodies inside my des design I made for, for you. Now that all of our paint is dry, my yellows are pretty close to each other, but they're just slightly off. I don't know if it'll notice, but that's okay. So I'm going to glue my spacer onto my back piece. I am using some wood glue that I have. And I'm unscrewing the top and applying my glue with a toothpick for two reasons. One, there was glue stuck in my tip. And so you can't really get it out without unscrewing the top. And two, with the toothpick, I can apply less glue so I don't get it all over. And it doesn't squeeze out the top. And along all the sides. of the toothpick to help get any of that excess glue that seeped out the sides. I like to apply a little bit of pressure uh, since I don't have a clamp for this size. Now typically you want to wait for this to dry completely. I'm going to move forward just because I'm impatient. I'm going to use these clay flowers as my fillers. You 
can add as many little as you would like. That looks pretty good for mine. The glue will show a little bit on the edges here, so if you don't like this look, then you could plant another one of these spacer layers and put it on top. I think it looks a little big when you do that, so I don't particularly like that look, but it's up to you and your preference. It's in the file if you decide to do that. recommend putting your filler in before you applying this glue to the edges because if you drop some of your glitter or whatever you put in the inside it might get stuck on the glue edges and then get glue on it and then it'll be glued down inside and we don't want that. is to glue his wing on. Now, as tempting as this is to shake it now, I'm going to wait till the glue dries just in case there's any on the edges. I don't want my little flowers getting glued down. But once that is glued and dried, I'll show you. Here is what a bird shaker looks like, all finished. And For more in-depth instructions and a list of supplies, please visit knfdesign.com. Also, don't forget, I'm going to be doing another version of a bunny and an egg. And in that section, I'll show you how to make it out of code stock. And I will be using Cricut Design Space and a Cricut machine. You can use this design with that same technique, or you can use that design and make it with the wood like I did here. So there's lots of options. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And happy crafting!